Hey, what is up everyone? I'm Star Lord, and of course by now you all know that the Nuka World trailer was released earlier today. It looked amazing and I actually did a face cam reaction. So if you haven't seen it yet, go and watch it guys. It's pretty fun. But today what we're going to be doing is taking a real look at the trailer, stopping, pausing, looking at all of the things that we may have missed. And you know what guys? If I miss anything throughout this trailer, please enlighten me. Please tell me if I've missed anything. But we are going to be going through this trailer, pausing it at notable parts and explaining and talking a little bit about that. So let's get into the video. Welcome to Nuka World, America's favorite vacation destination. I'm Cappy. <laughs> Okay, so first off, one thing I'm really sure about is that they're actually catering for the Automatron DLC. I believe this will now be available if you guys have Automatron to actually put one of these as your companion. And it also looks that on the left hand of that robot right there, it actually is a sort of Nuka Cola weapon kind of thing. Maybe it shoots Nuka Cola, I don't know, but let's continue on anyway. And if we pause the video right here, we can see that in the background there is an old friend returning. Yes, that is actually the Nuka Cola victory, which never actually showed up in the game until now. So I'm pretty excited to get my hands on that. But besides that, we can actually see that there is animated mannequins in this game, and it is actually sporting a very casual looking top which has the Nuka Cola logo on it. And hopefully, we do get to actually put that on our characters, as casual clothing is very limited in this game. So let's hope for that. Okay, so there wasn't much with that roller coaster scene, but here at the World of Refreshments, we paused it right here because in Fallout 3, whether you played it or not, there was actually an enemy in it called Nuka Lurk, and you could find them in the Nuka Cola factory. And what happened is basically they'd been living in Nuka Cola, I guess, Quantum for a while. And yeah, this kind of looks like the case right here because they used to glow a bright blue, and the color kind of looks like a bit of a darky kind of murky. Blue, I guess, but hopefully we do see a return of that. And the mountain tops are fizz with fun. So this next picture, I am really sorry about the blariness, guys. I just couldn't get a good frame where it was actually still and frozen. But if we do look in our hand right now, we do see that there is a new melee weapon as well as a knife to the left. But mainly, I wanted to focus on the melee weapon. That is definitely going to be in the game for you to use because this DLC is going to be filled with fun. And I think maybe you just have to complete certain like little, I guess, arcade machines to unlock certain weapons. That would be a pretty nice way to go about it. But either way, I believe that we will see this melee weapon in the game. So here is our first confirmation that yes, we can actually ride roller coasters in this DLC. A lot of people were thinking maybe we couldn't, but we're very happy now to know that we can. I'm very curious as to what that robot is doing there on that ledge, maybe an additional quest or anything like that. I don't know, I'll be pretty happy to find out once the game releases. Come on down to Nuka World and see it for yourself. Okay, so pausing here, I'm kind of looking at it, and this looks like a haunted house in which you can actually go through and, you know, all sorts of things pop out at you. And honestly, I love these things in real life. I used to go to this thing called Farmageddon in Liverpool. If you don't know what it is, YouTube it. It is seriously awesome. But if we had something like that in the game in which, like, ghouls were chained and, like, ran at you, but they could barely touch you, that would be absolutely insane. Or even if just ghouls were spawned in there every 24 hours, I would hope that, you know, you had to run away from them and you couldn't go in there with your gun. I really hope that this is a haunted house. I would love that. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, hold the phone, Maple. If we look at this frame right now, we can see that there is an orange, a pink, and a blue ghoul. That blew my mind when I first saw it, and obviously we will see variations of ghouls like this, whether or not it's just face paint or not. Still, Absolutely amazing, a very nice addition to this DLC. When I very first saw the first DLC that we saw at E3, I said we will see more of a color variation throughout armors, weapons, all that kind of good stuff. And honestly, I am very glad that they actually added this to the enemies. Very happy about that. Sorry. Pausing again, we can see that in the middle right there, there's a treehouse. 
in that tree right there, it looks absolutely amazing. I am hoping that one of the developers never actually just left that in after building it. I'm hoping that's in there by default and that you can actually have a little mini settlement like the one from Diamond City, you know, that little house. I would absolutely enjoy decorating that tree house. How you would actually get up there is very interesting though. Doesn't seem to be any ladders from what I can see, but still, nevertheless, that is pretty awesome. Now get ready for a lot of pause breaks as this where it gets really interesting. Here you can see everybody kind of assumed it would be a lizard. I am definitely swaying more to a crocodile. I know that sounds insane, but you know, it's not unusual for, you know, the developers of Fallout to kind of go all mix and match. And honestly, that looks absolutely amazing. If I could choose either a Deathclaw or whatever the fuck that is, I would definitely choose that any day. That looks absolutely insane. I cannot wait to create a companion mod for the Xbox PC and hopefully the PS4 when that comes out. Insane. <laughs> Once again, another new animal. Of course, we know there's going to be tons of new enemies and animals in this DLC, but I'm pretty happy that they've actually put a bit of a hostile twist on the regular cows. I'm very interested to find out what they call this thing. I would probably just call it a Rad Bull, I guess, but it sounds too much like Red Bull, but yeah, pretty interesting. <laughs> Again, back on that robot thing, we obviously can see that there are new attachments for these robots, as well as, you know, the new Coca-Cola kind of body set. But I wasn't looking at that when I saw this frame. I actually looked at the background. We can see that it is a cinema. And it does actually say the deep of Earth's unexplored oceans. That kind of makes no sense. The deep of Earth's unexplored exp uh, oceans. Now, we cannot see what the top line says, but I am very much hoping that maybe they may have a little bit of a nod to the ghoul whale that we never seen in Far Harbor's DLC, as a lot of people was actually very disappointed that we never got to see that. So hopefully if we press play on that movie, hopefully we may get to see something like that. Or, you know, we'll kind of have more information about the sea creatures that will be in this DLC, such as that crocodile I mentioned earlier. So let's uh, let's get on. So two things we're actually seeing here that is new to the game. First of all is the weapon, but I will get onto that in a second. Look at the teeth on that creature. What the hell is that? Honestly, I don't even have words for what creature that has been mutated from. I really do not. But obviously, we will find this in the kind of Wild West part of the park. I really, really do not want to play this game live streaming with my headphones on when that shit pops out at me because I will shit myself on the live stream. That looks insane. I am very happy that they've actually made something pretty scary that pops up out of the ground. You know, the mole rats pop out of the ground, the rad scorpions pop out the ground, but they're not really that scary. Now, this is a scary creature. Very happy to see what that is. And again, talking about this weapon that we have right here, we can see that it is some kind of serum that we have to shoot it with. I'm guessing maybe a sleeper or something like that, but we already have those kind of things in this game. So again, I cannot really speculate on that. Obviously, there is a vial on the side of it, and, you know, there is some kind of liquid in there. We just have to kind of wait and see what that is. Also, I don't really know yet, but the gloves on our character's hand right there, I don't even remember if gloves are a thing in the game or not, but it kind of looks like they will be, at least with that outfit or in the new DLC. So, I'm pretty interested to find out about that. If you guys know if there were gloves in the game before this, please tell me. I would like to know. So unless you've been hiding under a rock, you would know that this DLC focuses on raiders. You actually will be teaming up with a group of raiders. Now, you can see that there is new armors and items that those raiders have on, which we obviously will be able to equip ourselves. And looking at the woman on the right, the very nice looking woman for a video game character, I've got to be honest, she looks very interesting, very high detailed, and obviously with companions, normally people who are main in the game have a little bit more of an extra touch to them. I'm hoping that she is one of the new companions that got leaked in the vault Tech Workshop DLC files. And to be honest, those bullets around her stomach look really, really fucking cool. Also, I did notice in the back right there, if you just look on the wall, I guess, there is a kind of logo. I thought it kind of looked like a Deathclaw's face with its, you know, its horns, but I guess not. Maybe that is their logo for this faction. So, yeah, all will tell. 
Sorry, but pausing again, we can see that the woman on the right is wearing some kind of chain around her neck or some kind of electrical device that is blinking red. Now, definitely that is sort of a tracker or an explosive because that woman must definitely be a slave. When I first saw the first DLC, I said slavery will definitely exist in this DLC and yeah, it kind of looks that way from this still shot right here. Hello Assault Rifle, my old friend. Yes, that is right guys, the Assault Rifle does make a comeback in this DLC. Very early on, people found that in the in-game base files for Fallout 4, the Assault Rifle was actually a model in the files. And everyone was wondering why it got caught. Obviously, we know why now, they are actually including it in this DLC. Very happy about that. Looking at the settlement aspect of this DLC, we can see that there is going to be new items which will mainly focus around decorations. And you know what? I'm not actually mad about that. I would love to place some of that stuff around my settlement. Definitely cannot wait to get my hands on that. Again, like I said earlier on, there will be a lot of novelty in this DLC. And yes, that is the case with this electrified paddle ball. It actually doesn't do that much damage. It does 10 electricity damage. And it does seem that you actually need bullets for this. As if I went back a couple of frames, I could actually see it had the little bullet mark and it had 100 next to it. So I'm not really sure what the hell that was all about. But still, I cannot wait to get my hands on that. I am very much a melee weapon kind of guy. I will love electrocuting Marcy Long with that. Come on down to Although I have frame phrased here, there is a lot to talk about about the last couple of frames. So, we actually saw that the assault rifle that we now have is half arsedly painted. So, basically, someone's just slapped a lot of different random colored paint onto the weapon, which I did call a little while ago. I said we will have a lot of customization with these weapons in which we can actually color them very different. Again, moving on, we saw a lot of the raiders that we now lead going to Sanctuary, and they actually have taken over Sanctuary, you know? So, Hopefully they don't attack your current people, I don't really think they will, but again, moving on a little bit more to the picture that we have freeze frames on right now, we can see that the new face mask is like a kind of crow looking thing, we can see that that razor hair is pink, so I'm hoping that maybe we do get a little bit more customization on the colours that we actually put on ourselves. Again, if you look to the uh, right of that lady right there, we will see a new lady with green hair and she actually has a clown nose with clown face paint, if I believe. Uh, and that looks pretty awesome, to be honest. It kind of looks really fun. I would definitely have that in my playthrough when I play this DLC. Very interested in that. Now this next part really confused me. These aliens obviously do kind of look like the one that you find in the cave. They do look very different though, but... They are robotic and they are shooting actual alien blaster rounds. So I'm kind of confused on how somebody actually got their hands on that technology. That really confused me, but they are definitely robotic. I'm guessing that there will be some kind of a nod to Cowboys vs. Aliens, as, you know, it kind of looks like a Wild West kind of looking uh, scene here. So maybe that will be the case. I have, if so, I called it. But yeah, let's move on. So I didn't really know what to think of this frame. I actually was very confused. The, obviously the armor looks very cool. I cannot really tell if there is somebody in that or it's just a robot. But if we do notice that it does have a bit of a pole at its back. If you can see that there is a pole on its back. Just like those bumper cars right there. Hence how he's getting all of the electricity through that suit. I kind of want to speculate that maybe that is your initiation test into actually becoming the leader of the raiders. You know, you're not just going to go in there and be the raider leader automatically. You're going to have to defeat a couple of people. So I'm assuming that is one of many. As I said earlier, another new animal that we see in this DLC, I'm assuming that it's a grasshopper. Looks very fierce, very fast. Cannot wait to go up against it. But again, looking at the gloves, there is again a new set of gloves. And also to the right, we have a new kind of knife that looks pretty cool i'm not gonna lie i love my whaley weapons so yeah that looks very sharp very cool moving on sorry about the quick pause guys but again looking at this guy right here he is a ghoul which will speculate that there will not just be humans as raiders there could be ghouls super mutants in this dlc who have joined the raiders and obviously this guy disappears he will probably be pretty big in the storyline not really much else to say there but we do have another pause coming up 
There is not the mod and what I hate in this game than the flying creatures. They are absolutely horrible to try and kill and obviously there is now hornets in the game. I'm saying these are hornets or maybe flying ants I guess because you know the nests in the background right there it kind of looks like they will only be in, in like large groups maybe. They will be very deadly even though they kind of look like pussies they will be very deadly very fierce so I'm not looking forward to them at all. <laughs> So guys, that concludes our analysis of this trailer. I know I missed little tiny things that you know are obvious, but I was mainly focusing on all of the new features and stuff like that. If I did happen to miss something pretty huge, then please feel free to comment below. But I am very sorry about all of the pauses. It's just a lot to take in at the minute. I am very hyped about this DLC. Are you very hyped about this DLC? It will surely be a very good send off to a very good game. Anyhow guys, until next time, I've been Star Lord. Uh, see ya!